Welcome to my channel folks. Today I'm going to show you how you can create your own Amazon mission image. There are plenty of mission images available there. Some of them are maintained by Amazon itself. Some of them are maintained by community. But sometimes corporates or, or other parties will like to create their own mission image, bootstrap them with the customized binaries and libraries that would like to distribute to other departments to be used. So today I'm going to show you how you can create your own mission image. So let me get back to my EC2 dashboard and start a machine. So let's go ahead and start a machine. I'm going to use the Amazon Linux operating system and I'm going to use a free tier CPU and memory core. I'm going to have a public IP address so that I can and connect to it if there is any problem. And I also need an IAM role so that I can copy some files from my S3 bucket. So the most important thing is here in the advanced details, I'm going to put in some code here that is going to install a web server and also install an Amazon SSM agent. If you don't know what is an Amazon Systems Manager agent, watch my video to get yourself clear on that. And let us go ahead and put the code here. So we, here we have two set of commands. The first set is going to install my web server and the second set of commands is going to install my SSM agent and make sure they start at boot time. So I'm not going to add any additional storages. So let us go ahead and add a tag. I'm just going to call it golden image for web server. Just going to ensure that I'm going to have a public security group so that they can connect to it through port 22. If it is not there, let us go ahead and add it later. I'm just going to launch it. My web server is booted now. If I open another window and put in my IP address, I should be able to browse my website. Now it's time to create our image now. So make sure that you have selected the instance from which you want to create an image. Go to actions. Under that, you'll have image and click on create image. It is going to ask you the details of your image. So I'm just going to say it is a golden image for my web server. And I'm not going to re I'm going to ensure that there is a reboot happening so that I will have a good copy there. And my request has been taken. And first a snapshot will be created and based on that an image will be created. So I'm just going to close this window and head over to my AMI section on the left hand side and we should be able to start seeing an image getting created anytime soon now. Then you go my image has been created and it is at a private status. So in case if you want to share the image with the public all you have to do is come here and click on edit and then you can make sure the image is public by choosing this option and clicking on save. So as of now, I don't want to share this image with anybody else. So I don't want to do that. In case if you want to launch any instances from this image, what you can do is either you can choose the image here and go ahead and launch or use this option. Or if you want to do the conventional way, if you go to launch instances and under my AMIs, you should be able to find the AMI just we now created. So that is how you create a golden image and you distribute it to your other departments or your other clients or your customers. They will have your pre-built packages and all the configurations that you intended how it needs to be run so hope that you can have golden images in your account and ensure compliance and security settings are met and happy learning thanks for watching